Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5. I know that I look like I am a mess, but I have had a killer headache all day. I got it last night and it has not gone away. So I just took Tylenol like an hour ago because my baby was sleeping on me but from the time that she ate this morning until like an hour ago. And so I'm waiting for that to kick in. It should have kicked in by now, but it hasn't. So I am going to do my advent calendar of the day. It is number four. I don't see it. Oh, right there. And it's another little bag of Reese's Pieces. So, oh, there's only four today. Usually there's five. But I need to find something to eat. It's 1.15 and I haven't eaten today because I fell asleep with my baby when she took her nap this morning because, like I said, I have a headache, so. I need to eat and I need to edit my video from yesterday and get that up, but pretty much that's all that's happened today. And there might be big changes happening. I'm not going to say what, but there's something that is in the works right now that I will share with you as soon as it's more set in stone, but yeah, we've been kind of just thinking about that for the last couple of days. So. It's exciting. It's not bad. It's exciting. So, we're all good here. We're not, like, there's nothing bad happening. So, I'm going to go get something to eat. Hey guys, I am at the store getting a few things. And then I'm going to go get some dinner for us at a restaurant and take it home. So, yeah. Hey guys, I am back from the store. And I just wanted to show you guys what I got. The first thing I got was this beef smoked sausage. This was on sale for $2.50, I think. Great deal. We're gonna do a scramble. There, that's better lighting. Then I got these diced hash brown uh, potatoes for that scramble. We were running low on sour cream, so I got some of that. And then I got, we wanted we, to get Nutella, and this one was like $3 cheaper, so we're gonna try the Kroger kind to see if it tastes the same. I'll let you guys know once we open it and try it. Then I got two boxes of chicken rice aroni. If you have not tried this, you need to try it. It is so good. And then I got six monsters. I got two of the pipeline punch flavor. I got one of the mango loco juice one. That's my favorite. And then I got three of the strawberry lemonade flavor. This one's a juice too. It's really good. Um, and then I got two flavors of ice cream. I got triple brownie in the Kroger kind. It's really good. We already tried it because I forgot to film this earlier. And then we got caramel delight, which caramel you can never really go wrong with. So that is everything I got. It was kind of a small grocery haul because we didn't need much, like I said. And um, yeah, and then I got dinner while we were out too. And I brought it home. So that's all that I got. So now I'm gonna put it all away again. Hey guys, I had to change my shirt because the baby puked. But um, I just wanted to talk about the weird things that people have said to me in the grocery store while I feed her. But some of them are from before I was pregnant, or before I was had her, and then some of them have been after. The first being, while I was at work, I was sitting at my desk up front, because I'm a receptionist, if you don't know that, and a lady walked up to me and I was huge pregnant. I was like 38 and a half weeks pregnant, and um, she asked me, she's like, just walked up randomly, never seen this customer before in my life, and she asked me, have you tried to make, make love or have sex to get that baby out? I mean, what? Yeah, I've heard of it, and yeah, it's tr been tried, thank you. Thank you for interjecting your opinion. I mean, what the heck? I look so tired right now. What the heck? But, um, yeah. And I just sat there and I'm like, yeah, thank you for that opinion of yours. Like, I have tried it. And she's like, oh, well, it doesn't look like it's worked then. I'm like, no, I wouldn't be here. And I didn't say that. I was just kind of like, yeah, it hasn't worked. <laughs> And then, while I was at the grocery store the other day with her, she was sleeping in her car seat. I stuck her in the um, cart in her car seat. She was sleeping, and an old man was walking behind me, which, I don't care, fine, whatever. I was trying to find, like, Tylenol or something, and um, 
he came up behind me and he's like, that's a cute baby, which I appreciate the compliments. I get a lot of compliments because she's a cute baby. But they will, he was like, doesn't it make you want to have another real soon? I'm like, I want another, but not soon. And he looked at me like, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, I don't want a freaking baby right now. She just popped out of me six weeks ago. Like, I don't want to go through birth again right now. Oh my goodness, my dark circles are really showing today. But, yeah, I don't know. Please, if you have not been pregnant and, I don't know, don't make weird comments like that. That's weird. Even if you have been pregnant, it's none of your business what people have tried to induce labor. It's none of your business about the timeline that they want another kid. Like, just compliment the baby and walk away. That's all you need to do. So... Those are like two of the most random things that people have said to me like pre that are pregnancy and baby related. I haven't gotten a lot of other like weird comments and stuff like that recently. So I just wanted to share and put a PSA out there to not do that. <laughs> that just don't. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to end it here. I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Please hit the subscribe button button and like before you leave, but I'll see you tomorrow. See ya.